Good morning everyone and welcome to the Baking Biker. Welcome to our Colorado motorcycle trip. Today we are leaving Montrose, Colorado. We're going to head east on Highway 50 to the uh, Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. We're going to take some uh, viewpoints out there, uh, take a look at it and see what the Black Canyons of Gunnison look like. We did ride past them on the north side as we were headed south on Highway 92, but this time we're gonna go into the park and get you some pictures. And then after that, we're gonna head south on Highway 550 to Durango, and Highway 550 is also known as the Million Dollar Highway. So, let's ride. This morning, as you can see, we have partly cloudy skies, but there is a chance of rain along the way. Right now, the temperature is in the mid-60s and should be in the upper 80s when we get to Durango. It should be a beautiful ride today. Our first stop is here at the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Since we had to hurry along the North Rim on yesterday's ride and couldn't make any stops, we decided this morning to visit the South Rim. As we enter the park, there is a fee, but we have lifetime senior passes. So onward to our first viewpoint. Our first stop here is at Tomichi Point. And as you know, I always have to park the motorcycle where I can get that Kodak moment. So Rick may be parking here, but I am moving on to where that car just left. Well, we stopped at the first viewpoint, which is Tomichi Viewpoint. We'll get you some pictures. Visitor Center at the Black Canyons of the Gunnison. I'm going to get my passport stamped and then we'll get you some information about the geology of the Black Canyons here in Colorado. Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park exposes you to some of the steepest cliffs, oldest rock, and the craggiest spires in North America with the Gunnison River running right through the middle of it. The town of Gunnison, the Gunnison River, and the Black Canyon of the Gunnison were all named after explorer and engineer John Gunnison, who was seeking a Pacific Railroad passage in the 1850s. But when he got to the Black Canyon, he saw that there was no way to cross to the other side, so he had to find a different route. We're here at the Cross Fishers Viewpoint. Let's go check it out.
here at Chasm View and let's go check out the view. We're here at Sunset View now. Rick is trying to get a 360 video for you, but oh my goodness, wait till you see the view from here. Oh my goodness, there was so much to see here at the Black Canyon of the Gunnison, but we need to get back on the road and start heading south to Durango. On our left is the Museum of the Mountain West, which is one of Colorado's historic properties. This is where the West comes alive with a collection of log cabins, Western town stores, teepees, and other historic buildings, which have been moved to this outdoor museum. We just finished having a delicious lunch in Ure, and now we're heading south on U.S. Highway 550. Ure is also known as the Switzerland of America. This section of U.S. Highway 550 between Ure and Durango is also known as the Million Dollar Highway. How this highway got its name is unclear. Some say that it cost over a million dollars per mile to build 100 years ago. or that the field dirt has a million dollars in gold ore. We may not know the origin of the name, but I know the views are worth a million dollars. Also on this section of Highway 550, before we reach Durango, we will cross three passes that are over 10,000 foot in elevation. Red Mountain Pass at 11,018 feet, Mola's Pass at 10,970 feet, and Coal Bank Pass at 10,640 feet. So it's time to enjoy the views and the twisties.
Well, we made it here to Durango, and wasn't that just a beautiful ride today? At first, yes. let's go Very to nice. the Black Canyons of the Gunnison. That was beautiful. That was just gorgeous there. A little short trip out from Montrose, about... Uh, it's only six miles to the turn. Yes. And, uh, another Total from Montrose again. all the way to the end of the road is like uh, 20 miles. So, real short trip. And then Highway 550, the million dollar highway. I know why they call it that. Not only uh, because of the mining there, but also the views are something else. And for motorcyclists, that road was something else. Especially heading out of, I'm not going to pronounce that right. Oh, uh, Ure. Ure. Yeah. Ure, I think it's how you say it. Yeah. Especially heading out of there, it starts off with a couple of hairpins and you've got drop offs with no guardrails and these canyons and yeah it's it's pretty incredible it's very nice it is a very nice road but you have to be very careful it, uh, it is they do consider it a dangerous road because yes sometimes there's no shoulder uh, people no they'll shoulder, tell you to no stay in your lane and because people will kind of cross over into your lane and there's no shoulder and uh, and there's drop-offs right there <laughs> well they keep the speeds down in any place that gets at all technical you know yeah. so that's not a problem if you're anywhere close to that as a motorcycle rider. Yes. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Don't take it fast. Yeah. Just take it, take yeah. it sensibly. <laughs> yes. Anyway, nice visit here. It's a really nice evening. It was in the upper 80s today for the temperature. And right now, I think it's in the low 80s. And it's evening, as you can see. And the sun is setting. And it's just wonderful. Now, behind us is this uh, scenic train ride that you can take from Durango to Silverton and it's like 42 miles it's a, a narrow gauge train and it's a scenic ride and uh, we don't have time for it to go do it but that would be wonderful to go from Durango to Silverton on the train because that would just be beautiful and take you all through all the gorges that you're kind of going by and above when you're on the road you can some places you can look down and see the train tracks it's right there next to the river mm -hmm. so that yeah. would probably be very pretty so I hope you enjoyed all the videos. I hope you enjoyed all the pictures. And um, again, if you like this video, give me the thumbs up and please subscribe and uh, hit that bell uh, so you get notifications every time I upload a video. So thank you so much for watching.